Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today's video we have a pretty new and very cool factory custom to show you. This is a completely blue Johnny Blamer. It's a factory custom that popped up on AliExpress maybe about a month ago. Uh, I purchased mine maybe like two and a half weeks ago and it just got in today. I don't have that many factory customs. Usually I get them just by kind of going on a spree while where I'll buy like several at once. This time was a little bit different. Uh, I saw it and I just wanted it just because I thought it was such a cool and unique piece. Of course, we are actually just currently on my floor. My desk is completely overrun with Hot Wheels die casts. At the moment, I'm kind of uh, changing up some shelving in my room or whatever. And there's a bunch of Hot Wheels that are going to go on a shelf that is not yet installed. And that has completely filled up my desk where I typically do my recording. And this is a video that I wanted to do uh, just very quickly and desperately because it's such a cool car. But yeah, let's just kind of look at it. As I mentioned uh, a little bit while ago, I really don't want to do that many, you know, diecast videos in terms of like, you know, reviews or whatever, quote unquote. Unless they're like something unique or something that's like really new. And I think that actually fits both of those little requirements. So I just, you know what? I threw myself on some of the all in the open space in my room right now. The floor next to a cars to a giant cars to diecast poster, which is what we are currently under, and I'm laying in a very uncomfortable position right now. Here we go. All right. So I mean, you just got typical Johnny Blamer expression. Whatever. That's what it's looked like on all of his diecast releases. There is an actual Johnny. Uh, actual is in. A green one I'm not exactly sure if this is a legitimate uh, non factory custom Johnny I don't think it is I believe this is a factory custom uh, I got it uh, I don't even know when I, I, it was for my birthday uh, years and years ago for my birthday my parents bought like every piston cup racer I had and it's like hid them across the house and I had to go find them uh, but most of them obviously were in factory customs and I'm assuming this is one of them uh, I guess a decent amount of my Piston Cup collection is currently factory customs, and I don't really care too heavily about that, because, uh, I mean, I'll always have the factory custom Apple Racer until I get the Motor Speedway of the South, and once I get that, then, well, I'll also have other, every single other <laughs> Piston, Cup, Piston Cup Racer as a not factory custom as well. Just comparing the two, I mean, you can see where the green should be um, on the factory or in, you can see where the green should be on the right and where it isn't on the left pretty much the entirety of the roof and the hood should be just completely green and on the factory custom it's not that's really the major the only major difference in terms of you know like um the decals or whatever and i really love the four wheel drive blue johnny for a long time as a kid was like my favorite of all the piston cup racers or whatever just because of like that blue and i'm glad they made this because I, I mean that it brings back oh it just kind of flipped over brings back all the old memories of you know, that blue whatever and wanting the johnny blamer die cast something else that's different of course is the rims real version they're like a blackish gray color on this factory custom they're almost like a like a dark teal color I assume that those are pulled from like another Piston Cup racer that has those colored rims, but I don't exactly know which one that would be. The um, the tread decals on the roof are a little bit more noticeable now. Of course, usually on the blue on the or on the green version, uh, you, they they're kind of they kind of like you know mix in with the the rest of the paint scheme or whatever. But in this, they don't really have anywhere to hide. They're just like out in the open on the roof looks just super awesome this kind of reminds me of the uh the black jerkson d'agostino i don't know if that's a factory custom or a prototype i can't remember uh, but that's kind of what this reminds me of just a car uh it looks pretty much i mean it's got all the same decals or whatever or whatever it's just got the lack of a certain color that kind of makes the scheme complete and that's pretty much what's happening here factory custom as as i last checked is still available on AliExpress if you're able to find it and it's pretty cheap too it was only maybe like eight 
eight bucks for me in free shipping so that's a pretty cool bonus number 54 whatever got the you know decals or whatever four wheel drive dirt decals for urban suvs just like off-road so like fake uh decals or whatever for, for you know posers my chest really hurts because of the position i'm laying in right now i cannot speak so hopefully you guys enjoyed my suffering for this video and i'll see you all next time goodbye